September 24th, Denver, Colorado. Quentin Rampage Jackson challenges Johnny Bones Jones for the UFC light heavyweight crown. And Matt Hughes versus Josh Koscheck, where this veteran who is the twilight of his career is taking on this wild, crazy dude, Josh Koscheck. The plan of attack for Shogun was to first prove to myself that I can strike with one of the best fighters in our sport. Flying knee early. Right away, Jones opens up wide. Big kick down. The knee. Nice knee. Another one. Oh, good left hand. Jones looking to tee off. Jones hurt. He's hurt, Mike. He's wobbled. When I did have him close to being finished, I just kind of gave him his space, let him realize that he was hurt. I was just patient. I realized that I had a whole 25 minutes to work. When I sat down, I thought to myself, Holy crap, I'm beating Mauricio Shogun Hula. Oh, Spinning back elbow. The moment where I realized that the fight was coming to an end, you know, I was on top of him, and I hit him with a big shot. Another big shot from the guard. Have you ever seen somebody tee off like that with punches? And then I followed up with several elbows. Big elbows, oh, trying to finish this fight. Shogun's badly hurt. He ended up getting back to his feet, and I saw that he was wobbly, and hit him with a body shot to the liver, which ended up collapsing him. So good. It's a testament that dreams can come true, guys. They really can. My goodness. Body shots by Rampage. Rampage is back, baby. I ain't going nowhere. Quentin Jackson is one of the most experienced veterans in the light heavyweight division, and he has some of the most dynamic punching and biggest power in all of mixed martial arts. I love knocking people out. I like knocking them out with my hands. I'm focused. I only have one objective on one thing on my mind. It's their belt. A motivated and hungry Quinton Jackson is a very, very dangerous opponent. He needs something exciting to fire him up and get him motivated. And there is no bigger mount than Johnny Bones Jones. I think John Jones is the future of MMA. I have to be honest, but, you know, so I'm the present. I'm the right now. Still got what it takes to be champion. Rampage Jackson. Somebody I respect. The only problem I have is that he feels as if I have his belt. I don't want to give him the honor of considering himself the number one fighter in the world. Johnny Bones Jones is a physical phenom. We have never seen a fighter improve as quickly as he has. Oh, he got it! It's all over! John Jones! Jones out! Ryan Bader! What we have is a veteran who's been in the trenches with some of the very best fighters on the planet facing the most exciting, young, dynamic fighter in the sport. His punch of kicks, I walk right through it. I don't care about it. I'm going to bring it. And I don't think his chin can withstand it. Wow. I know what it's like to be the world champion, and I know that he wants that back. I'm not giving it back to him. It's my time. It's my opportunity. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the future. And he might be the greatest talent that we've ever seen in the UFC. I like it when people underestimate me. I like the fact that I'm going to this fight, the underdog. I'm going to have fun whooping his ass. Quentin Rampage Jackson versus Johnny Bones Jones will be a fight for the ages. versus Josh Koscheck is a fascinating fight because one of the most successful fighters in the history of the sport is taking on this wild, crazy dude, Josh Koscheck. Now, Josh Koscheck, one of the very best wrestlers in the division. Every time you see him in the octagon, he makes a big leap in his striking. Oh! In Matt Hughes, you have one of the greatest welterweights, if not the greatest and most successful of all time. He has defended his title on many occasions. He has fought the elite of the division, and he was the most dominant welterweight champion in the world for years.
he was a, a true groundbreaker in that he was one of the first elite wrestlers to really learn the submission game and not just be a ground and pounder, but become a well-rounded, multifaceted mixed martial artist. It's a good fight for me. You know, he's been around. He's a veteran. I think it's a good opportunity for me to, to beat someone down who's got a good name. He's one of the best guys in the world at getting people to hate him. That's payback right there. Love me or hate me, I don't care. Public enemy number one, Josh Koscheck. A lot of guys in this game will talk the talk, and they can't back it up. You know, when the cage locks and you step into the octagon with me, guess what? I'm going to be prepared to fight. I'm going to put an entertaining fight on and I'm going to lay it on the line. Koscheck shooting again. He completes it. I mean, this kid is never, ever in a boring fight. He comes in 100% nonstop and is trying to finish it. He really is do or die. He really is trying to go out on his shield or put you on yours. Wow. That is an explosive He's going to push the pace. He's going to be looking for takedowns. Look at that shot. And the That's the greatest shot in MMA. If I get him down, I can keep him there. I'm focused on what I got to do to get ready for this fight. In the beginning, I was just a wrestler. Now, I'm a mixed martial artist. Straighten him up right there. He's definitely got some power. But if I am fighting somebody who does have that power, I'm going to work on my takedown a lot harder to get him off their feet. Oh, that's kick. He heard him. He's going to finish. He's going to chase his intense trouble. He's going to finish. And it is all over. I'll do what I have to do to, to become successful in this game. I'm going to come out. I'm going to stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I'm going to prove a point to him and the rest of these fans out there. Don't be surprised if I come out and knock this guy out. You have a young, hungry fighter who is absolutely ferocious, and he comes with some of the best cardio and the best conditioning and the best work ethic in the sport. Anybody that's going to face Matt Hughes needs to go lift weights because I'm going to try pushing him around and wearing him out. I'm the guy that's, that's younger. We can give him all the press and the PR, and you know the people can talk about Matt Hughes. You know this fight is his last fight in the UFC, as far as I'm concerned. Russian power. Buckle down, Almeida. Yeah, yeah. It's all over! Unbelievable! Matt Hughes shoots out Ricardo yeah. Almeida! Matt Hughes, one of the greatest welterweights ever. He is one of the most beloved fighters in the UFC. You want to talk about some power? Do you know how hard it is to choke a guy to sleep like that? Josh Koscheck has become a true well-rounded mixed martial artist. He's shown that he is a very dangerous contender. He's a competitor. He wants to win. And, and he comes out to fight, and he comes out to hurt you. Beats Craig Trent! I think the bottom line is getting your hand raised at the end. At the end of the day, you got to step in there and, and fight. You know, we'll see who's leaving the cage beat up. the next generation. And he might be the greatest talent that we've ever seen in the UFC.